Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be testing out um, the new Milani Cheek, or I guess Cheek and Kiss Liquid Blushes. I've heard really good reviews about it, so I wanna test it out for myself. I think we're gonna try this on our lips and our cheeks today, and I think it's gonna be fantastic. Um, I'm in, I got the shade 140 Rose Romance, kind of like a mauve like um, burgundy kind of color, and I think it's really, really pretty. I did swatch it and open it earlier. Um, funny story, me and my husband, we like to open up my makeup, and I like to swatch it, and if I don't understand something, he'll kind of explain it to me, and it's kind of a little bonding moment that I really like to enjoy. But anyways, um, I figured we could kind of take this time to do like a kind of get ready together kind of thing, so grab your glass of wine and let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna kind of speed through everything that's not the Milani cheek blush, just because I don't want everything to be super long. I'm kind of a little bit shorter than yesterday's video. So anyways, um, I'm gonna use the Neon palette from Huda Beauty. I really like this, because I want kind of a brighter eye today.
figures when I'm gonna do like a quiet speed through tutorial every kind of background noise no demand is going on that's okay and on the real though guys the eye look is a bomb although I didn't really like how crumbly I didn't like how crumbly that um how to beauty glitter um eyeshadow was but it could be that I've had it for a minute But I've never used it before. But I've only had it close to a year, I do believe. So. I don't know those are relatively expensive. And that's a mini palette. Okay, so there's that. I love these. I love this um, foundation. Like, so worth the money. I'm going to use the e.l.f. I like um, like quiet tutorials, but I feel like I get bored. Anybody else get like it? For those of you who do tutorials. I swear guys, my husband is like the cutest person in the world. You ever like get in that point in your relationship like when you're like um, just starting out you're like blowing kisses and stuff like that. We still do that and we've been together eight years and I think that's like everything. I told him earlier, I said, you were just like the cutest person in the world. Of course, you know how men are, they act like they didn't do nothing. But anyways, just wanna say shout out to all those good guys out there, you know? All right, so there's that. I do want to go into that Oprah Banana Powder. I love this. And by the way, I used this to set my um, eye primer earlier, and I liked it. Although, it did kind of make my eye primer look a little weird. But I think that's because I used, like, a facial oil to loosen the eye primer. So, I don't think it mixed well, but I don't think it's this fault. Don't think it's this guy's fault. We're going to go in with this brightening brush. Just putting this where I put my concealer, just to further brighten. I'm hoping all this blends out nicely. I'm just to make sure it does, taking a clean brush. Just to kind of give you like that effortless. I just want to put myself on the lash. It just barely wants to. I feel like this is my good. Or my, this is my good lash eye, and this is my bad lash eye. They're never equal. Okay, so moving on to set the rest of the face. The LA Girl Pro Face Powder. Of course, everything will be in the description because I am kind of doing a speed or a speed style today because I want to focus on the new product. And all the products that I am reviewing in these next couple videos, guys, may not be fresh on the market new, but they're new to me. So I do want to review them. And try them off myself and that kind of thing. One of my favorite parts of um, having a YouTube channel is testing new things out, you know. And doing, giving myself a chance 
an excuse to do my makeup, you know? Okay, so now that that's on and looking good, let's go ahead and contour. To contour, oops, I'm going to use the um, Benefit Hula Powder. I feel like this only comes in one shade, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. And then I'm going to use the contouring brush from Alexi, the 512. This is pigmented. Very loosely contour my forehead here. Because like I said in the last video, I don't have much room in between my brows and my hairline. Okay. So now to blend all of that out, I'm going to dip into the Wet n Wild Bronzer. What is this shade? Um, Ticket to Brazil. I swear my nails, they just stop everything. Like literally, look at that. Ah. I might as well just... It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, so I really like it for that reason. Give you a little glow from within. Right, right, right. This powder does have a lot of kick up, like more than anything else, I do believe. Okay, yeah, it looks super, super nice. I am looking obsessed with all of this. So, uh, wipe my lips off so that we can dig into this chicken lip, cheek and lip tint. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as like a um, cream blush and then I'm going to set it down with a powdered blush. So, let's dive into that. So, I pretty much told you guys, um, let's do a little background. It says, it's a gel cream liquid blush infused with watermelon, pomegranate, and rose extracts. Hmm, nice. I'm going to do a little swatch on the back of my hand for you guys. It's like a nice little squeeze to check that out, guys. Right, super, super nice. So, I'm just going to do, I like a lot of blush. So I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do two. Two little dots. And I'm going to use my favorite stippling brush. I know that looks a little excessive, but see, you should blend out. Really nicely. I I hope this starts to blend out. I hope this starts to blend out soon. Maybe one. These are very, very, very pigmented. Like, I was not expecting so much out of this little fella. Like, I was like, oh, it'll blend out seamlessly. It will. You know what I'm saying? It'll be, it'll be okay. It'll. Let's just take my face blend and kind of kind of bat it down a little bit like that. Yeah, I feel like that. Oh, that still looks like I got socked in the. the I got socked. That's all right, guys. I'm gonna take my brush, wipe it off on my towel because. I know how pigmented it is. So yeah, guys, one dot. I don't care how much you love blush. One dot. One dot will do. Do you plenty. Do you all the way to Bethel and back. Whew. That's kind of dragging on her nose a little bit. Just really, really drag is probably everywhere. Just to kind of. 
really kind of spread it out as much as I can. And it's not a big deal because it ain't like I'm going anywhere. You know, I'll be going to bed in a few hours anyway, so. I know it looks crazy, guys. Do not judge the blush, but the blush based on what I have going on here, please. I'm not even going to set it. Because I feel like I got way too much. You know what I am? Just, just a tiny, tiny bit. Like, tiny bit. But I picked the blush that was super, super light. Something you had to kind of build up a little bit anyways. Like when I use this blush, I do use it a lot. But I'm heavy handed, guys. I mean, I am. Obviously. Obviously. Okay. But yeah, I really do like this. The formula is nice. It blended out super smooth, super easily, very pigmented. This thing's going to last me forever. But not if I use it as a little cheat or lip tint type deal, which is what I'm about to do. So, I think I'm going to go with this little eye look we got going on. So, I guess I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, I need a lip liner. I'm just going rogue today. Kind of like a gloss type deal. Just to see what kind of... Oh, it is very creamy when you rub it in between your lips. It's very creamy. And I don't... Don't get it on your teeth, guys. I don't think it's supposed to have... Like a lip stain effect or anything like that. But just like a your lips but better kind of deal. And I like that. That's like a throw something on before you go down, you know, down the road type of deal. And it's like super creamy between your lips. Like, oh, I'm a fan of that. That's nice. And it looks nice too. I think it would look nice with like summer looks or spring looks or you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a fan of this. And I do believe this was like $7.98 at Walmart. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what I paid for this. But yeah, I'm a fan of this. I really, 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 really like this for both aspects. So, thumbs up for me. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and finish the eyes and let's get out of here. Milk Kush Mascara for the lower or the upper lashes right quick. We're gonna do tart man eater for the lowers. You know, I haven't done nothing with my lower lashes, like nothing. Let's let's do something. Um, let's go back in with a neon palette from Huda. Let's do that yellow. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, let's smudge that yellow on our lower lash line. Just gonna use a smudger brush from BMX. Like this. Like a school bus yellow. Right. Let's do that. And then I want to take a nice, small, fluffy brush. Something like this. Take a nice cream sickle orange, which I didn't even show you. This bottom one down here. Just to match that orange that we have going here. Very colorful today, guys. You got like every part of the rainbow going. Right? Right. Okay, so, and I don't have a highlight shade in here because I totally forgot to highlight yesterday. It just hit me. Let's go ahead and man eat these lower lashes. And this is kind of drying a little bit, but I can still feel that it's a little smooth. I can still feel that it's not completely dry. But I feel like it's starting to dry, which is nice. I personally, I'm not a gloss person. 
I would rather have a lip stain. And you know, I just got mascara all over my side of my face. Mm, yeah. Guys, I'm a hot mess today. wipe that off go back in with my sponge if you guys get something like that on you that's all that I do keep my sponge very close at all times now let's go ahead and grab a highlight real quick all right guys the last thing and I just love this eye look we're gonna grab the uh, jelly highlighter from Stephen Lawrence and Prosecco Police I always love that name so cute um we are going to I found these apply better with a finger. My fingers are so dirty. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I guess, without ash, wipe your hands off and you can apply it the right way, huh? Guys, I swear I'm a hot mess today. And this is subtle, but you can build it up. But I mean, it actually does have a little bit of something, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So then we're going to take a nice little pencil brush like this. And I do want to get I do want to get these areas right here. I don't think I tried spraying this because it's a jelly highlighter and it's really creamy so I don't think it did much. Because I tried. So, there's that. A little tad bit disappointed. But, yes. So, guys. That's a completed look. I'm obsessed with it. But, more importantly, I am obsessed with those new Milani Kiss and Cheek. Uh, what do they call it? Liquid blushes. Like, yeah, liquid blushes. Cream brush. Little, mmm. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're fantastic. I love them so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's really all. That's it. I will see you guys next time. Plenty of videos to come. Please keep watching. Keep commenting. Subscribe to my channel, of course, if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.